is true red bone. If you didn't know, now you know. Y'all, the struggle is real. It is Sunday. Um, we are getting some sort. I just broke my tripod, y'all. My little miniature tripod. I broke all the legs off it, off of it. I guess I'm stronger and more aggressive than I thought. But anywho, um, I'm rambling because shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. So I'm rambling because anxiety is real this morning, y'all. If y'all didn't know, now you know, I'm telling you, I'm letting you know. First of all, let me say hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm glad that you guys are coming over, enjoying the content and getting involved in the comments. I'm a little slow with getting back to comments, y'all. Y'all know what's been going on. And I'm just really now, I'm moisturizing y'all. I just did a, a face scrub, it is Sunday morning. I was contemplating I use this on my skin after I do a scrub, after I wipe off my makeup, all of that. I'm not wearing makeup today. So, no, nothing. It's just gonna be me and my freckles. Yes, we have bags, y'all. Somebody uh, said something to me the other day about their bags under their eyes. Let me tell y'all something about some bags. I feel like my bags came from hard work, long hours, um, cause I'm com committed to this family. You know what I'm saying? So. I have a problem with my bags. Um, but y'all, I'm just gonna try to, my anxiety is over a thousand today. It's Sunday and um, y'all know we just getting back to a normal, almost normal somewhat uh, life. Let me get my mirror y'all, be right back. We are just getting back to some sort of normalcy. And, um, but, but still my anxiety has been through the roof because everything is not 100%, you know, or I'm still, yeah, you could say traumatized, I guess. But, um, so today, the, the reason why my anxiety is on a thousand today is because we haven't been able to, this might be a small thing to y'all, but in uh, being a mom to me and uh, my kids wanting certain things, um, it, it weighs heavy on my heart y'all um my son keep asking for regular milk because we have almond milk in there because that's all we could find we found a small gallon of milk um because they want it for their cereal and i keep saying drink the almond milk but they don't want that shit they're kids you know so yesterday when hubby got off of work yeah when hubby got off of work i'm just gonna run the flat irons through my hair because i've been wearing that wig Hubby, uh, when he got off of work, y'all, he went to the grocery store. Like, he hit up a few grocery stores. Water is a thing in Texas right now, y'all, because, you know, we're, we're at a boil advisory, so we have to boil all our water if we want to use it. Of course, we don't drink tap water, but I'm finding myself using more bottled water for things because we can't use tap water. Um, and I'm trying to remind all my kids how important it is to make sure. The older ones, you know, because I don't have any control over what they're doing. I'm rambling. I know it. I just need to relieve some stress. I was contemplating going live because I love going live with my family, the true family members. Um, I feel like I get a lot, lot off my chest. We we talk, we talk it out. But if I go live, y'all, I won't get out the house. I won't. And truly, I should have got up. My ends need cutting, y'all. If I had some scissors right here, I would cut them. Um, I, I should have got up really early and been the first one at the grocery store just to have a better chance of grabbing something. Y'all, I'm not gonna color my hair for a while because I I don't know what I want to do yet as far as if I want to let it grow because I, I think I'm going to be wearing a lot of units for a while. Okay, so back in hand. I'm sorry. I'm everywhere because my mind is everywhere right now. Y'all know I got my chronic. Y'all, my, my, my freckles is popping. Okay, again, I'm off track. So the problem is we can't find milk. Water is very limited. So if I have to run out every day to buy two cases of water, then I will because we have a six month um, old baby in the house um, and she is no longer breastfeeding. So she's drinking formula. So she gotta have water. Um, I need to go get diapers because I want to make sure that we don't have any problem with her having diapers. I need to get more pull-ups. We're potty training Aiden. Um, so when he goes to bed at night, I put pull-ups on him. We've had him now for shit I feel like a year but it's only been like maybe five or six days he keeps me so busy um it's no me time when he's around if y'all ever notice because he loves his woo woo so 
my anxiety is on the side because I feel like I, I, I need these things for the babies. Now, somebody brought up, brought up a good idea as far as if we got to have milk, we could use condensed milk and add water. Thank you for that because I, I always keep that in the house. So I do have a couple of cans of that. Um, and maybe I'll mix it up and not tell nobody what it is. Let me find an empty. If I can find one gallon of milk once they drink that up, refill it. <laughs> yes, baby. What I tell y'all, he found me. He found me. I'm in the bathroom, little boy. Where are you? Now you are. Yeah. Now you are. So yeah, y'all, I am about to venture out. Maybe I'll record a cup to see what's going on in the grocery oh, store. Oh, Baby, Gigi is working. Oh, okay? Gee. No, not right now. Oh, listen, listen, I'm, stop it. Oh, no, you don't get no candy. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh-uh, oh, don't whine. You know I can't stand that. Um, I can't stand a whine ass kid. We don't do that over here. I'm telling you, my nerves is too, too far gone for that. So, <clears throat> I'm on a thousand right now, my nerves are. I wanna make sure that they have water. I wanna make sure that the babies have everything that they need. Um, Hubby said when he get out the gym that he was gonna go look too, but I'm gonna go and see if I can find what I need. Um, I definitely wanna find, I feel like I wanna buy 20 of everything. Like the baby formula. Um, this is how my mind works, y'all. Anybody can, can anybody relate? Can anybody relate? Like my, I never, I never ever want anybody to want for anything, especially in my household. And with this going on, it's triggered some things, you know. Like, like I need to make sure that they have enough of everything. Um, it. And um, baby girl formula, y'all, it's like $40, $50 a can because I try to get the biggest can I can get. I want to go buy like six cans, like just so I can make sure that she doesn't have any problems with eating. Diapers, I kind of want to go and just bulk buy diapers. Pull-ups, you know, pull-ups is not a thing because he's almost, almost potty trained if we can just get his little ass to poop on the toilet. If this is TMI for you, sorry. This is my real life. <laughs> I'm like, Gigi, this is what's going on, you know? And this will be my first day out in a while, y'all, because, like, the whole pandemic thing. Like, I haven't been out the house since last week, Friday, I think. And I really only go out probably once or twice a month now because everything I need is in this house, and this house can keep me busy, you know? So, I'm just letting y'all know what's going on, trying to get y'all an update. I'm not really doing too much to my hair, y'all. I just want to be presentable when I leave the house. Um, I'm not wearing, like I said, I'm not doing makeup today. This is probably a long video. It may be boring to some, but I just needed it to release some, some energy off of me. Uh, and I felt like, you know, maybe it's somebody out there going through the same thing that I'm going through, feeling the same way that I'm going, I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm praying for our people here in Texas. It's a lot of people that have not gotten back to the regular smegular life. They are still going through everything and suffering and I, I i try to keep that in my thoughts and in my prayers um at all times and this this has totally made us look at things made me look at things differently um i can only imagine how though how people from louisiana felt when they went through and had to be relocated and y'all y'all remember all that when the levees broke and all of that so yeah my heart y'all I don't even want that to curl, but I, it does not matter. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store. If I can, if I can remember, I'll show y'all what the aisles look like, and I'll show y'all if I found them. All right, y'all. I didn't get out the house. This is like 15 minutes after I got done talking to y'all the first time, and I'm rolling. Um, I just left. Like I said, I just left my house, and it's crazy because I just saw two houses like across the street from me, and half of their shit is sitting outside in front of the house damaged like they i'm sure some pipes must have burst y'all my windshield well the windshield on this car is cracked it wasn't before so the storm and the change of weather something happened and it cracked the windshield and i'm like i'm not i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna let it get to me um it could be worse i don't even know if my husband's seen the windshield cracked on this car But I feel bad for the people across the street because I'm looking at, I don't know for a fact if that, if that was the case, if that's the actual fact that it was damaged from the storm, but I can only assume that the, that's what it was. It's a lot of stuff out there. So my heart dropped a little bit when I saw that, like this shit is real. It's real. So real, y'all. 
hair too big. I was just trying to flat iron it a little bit. But yeah, I'm on the way to the grocery store and I just wanted to let y'all know what I just saw. This is my first day out since last week Friday and here it is Sunday. Um, my husband did start with all the cars periodically through the storm. Just, you know, that's something you do. Um, if you didn't know, now you know when you have a, when you have cold weather and you are not driving your vehicles. This is mostly for my women out there and, you know, if you don't have a significant other, make sure that you are going outside and at least starting your car once a day, warming it up, let it do what it needs to do so that it cranks up for you when you need it. No, um, the snow is gone. Just an update. Um, all the snow is melted. It's warm, y'all. It's like, I want to say it's maybe 50 degrees. It's supposed to, I think it's supposed to get up to 60 today. It's warm. I'm sure there's plenty of people at the grocery store. I do have, I keep masks in this car, a lot of masks. But this is like... Like, I just want to go back to sleep. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with none of this. I'm more concerned about getting, um, making sure that the baby has enough milk and diapers. Aiden is getting potty trained. We have under, I have underwear for him. I don't, I know I told y'all that my daughter's pipes burst in her house. Um, so she's waiting in her apartment. She's waiting for them to come out and still turn on her water so she doesn't have water. That's why I still have Aiden because her, her apartment isn't 100% yet. Yeah, they have no water so that part so i guess i'll have him until their house their apartment is up and running lord that's another that's a whole job in itself gg wants a break like is your shit together <laughs> is your apartment is your water running yet girl don't hesitate to tell me when it comes on like I, I, I love the fact that I have, I love my grandkids. I love the fact that my kids are growing and fucking going. I love my me time and I've gotten used to having time for me now and with Mr. around and he favors me. I feel like he favors me. So he always want his woo woo. When, we're, when we go to sleep, he has to be on me. Like he, woo woo, I want you like dude. And y'all know he's spoiled because he's been the baby in the household for the longest. Anywho, I'm rambling. Yeah. Um, if they don't have milk here, y'all, I said I was going to try uh, Dollar General, Family Dollar. Um, my house drinks a lot of freaking milk, and I do, and I ate the please. Um, I'm recording this. I don't even know if it'll get to you, but let's pray um, that we find. I'm looking at people's carts like, did y'all get some milk? I'm nosy like that. Um, this might be a long vlog. If you watch it to the end, happy. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you just watch a little bit of it, I'm cool with that. But I'm about to go in this grocery store, y'all. And my anxiety is on a thousand because already in my heart of hearts, heart of hearts, I feel like they don't have what I need. But we're going to give it to God and we just going to get what we can find. Get what we can find. Okay. We shall return. Let's see. Look at that cracked windshield, y'all. Hey, true family, what it is, what's up? Y'all know we already started. This is just a, a, a I guess we're gonna do a Dan, a haul, Dan the life haul, slash whatever. Two tears in a bucket, bucket. I'm really sleepy, y'all. I am because this boy, my grandson, has been sleeping with us and he sleeps so rough. And then my automatic alarm goes off at like 6 30 in the morning and i still get up so i'm sleepy it's about noon y'all so um it was um it's warm out it's like 50 degrees um and yeah so we were we lucked up y'all we, we got milk and i'm gonna show y'all what i got uh th this wasn't gonna be a haul but i just want to show y'all that i was able to pick up a few items y'all i got me some flowers because i felt like i wanted to bring some some um some sunlight into my house some, some happiness some beautiful creep you know I feel like I needed this today. Um, the grocery store was packed. Y'all, the crazy thing is, you know, things happen for a reason, whether you believe it or not. Everything happens for a reason. Which one do I want? Let me turn it back on. So everything happens for a reason. I ran into uh, two women in the grocery store, two ladies, and um, they were just talking over by the meat and shit. They was over there chopping it up, and they were talking about how this is crazy, how this happened, and where they were from. I did ask them if I could record them, but, you know, they, they were hesitant, hesitant, so I was like, never mind. But we started talking, and they were talking about how um, this is crazy. One lady said her generator wouldn't work, so they had to order a part, and it started working. So I think we're going to do that before we actually before we actually go ahead and um buy a new generator so i'm gonna tell my husband about that it was the carburetor on there but wh whatever the other young lady was from milwaukee wisconsin it's so crazy 
that I just happened to have had started having a conversation with her and we were just so it was relatable and the other lady was from New York I think she said is it Buffalo New York is that a thing um she said she was from New York and how they deal with this weather weather and it's just crazy how everything just went out just like that so yeah I just thought that was really crazy and again everything happened for a reason um y'all was just watching uh Just Tiffany you guys if you haven't already checked out Just Tiffany she's a stay-at-home mom three children wife and um she was vlogging in in the car talking about how North Carolina is getting hit with ice so for all those in North Carolina my prayers prayers are with you she said their electricity goes out really easily so praying for you guys because I, I wouldn't wish this upon anybody. Um, just the anxiety part of it alone. Because my anxiety is still on the thousand. I think I, I just want to sit down be still and shut up. But it's just so much stuff to get caught up. I'm catching up on laundry you guys. It's techni technically not including my um, oldest daughter. Who has her own place. But it's like eight people in this house. And eight, eight people's worth of clothes for five or six days so i'm washing clothes um i need to give my dogs a bath uh yeah it's a lot going on in my head in my head because i like to stay on top of shit, you know because if i don't it'll just be all overwhelming um so check out just tiffany's channel uh thanks to uh uh check uh y'all my head friends while i vlog slash love lies and lace front y'all appreciated the text this morning y'all friends friend texted me this morning at the same time that i was recording and it was just a nice text message to get you know and it kind of cool, cool. It kind of went along with what I was um, vlogging this morning. So much love, friend. Um, if you aren't subscribed to her channel, let's go check out uh, Friends Boss Vlogs, and she has her second second channel, Love Lies and Lace Front. Um, TMR, thanks TMR. TMR calls and checks on me and talks to me and all of that. So um, if I miss anybody, I apologize. My head is everywhere. I'll come back. Nisi World, you know me and Nisi talk. Um, we talk a lot. So yeah, check them out. Check out these channels. TMR talks. Uh, Nisi's World, Just Tiffany, um, anything will pop in my mind, I'll let you know. Let me show y'all this haul real quick, y'all. I found milk, two gallons of milk. You can, it was limited to two gallons of milk. Um, I got my milk, y'all. And I told the kids, y'all, ration that shit out. I'm gonna need you. I, I damn near, y'all, I'm compulsive. I, I wanna tell them to use a measuring cup and just pour, you know, that amount of milk on their cereal. Cause I, I need to, who knows what's gonna happen, y'all. Rice is a staple in this home. Everybody loves rice. So I needed rice. I looked up for my babies. Um, so Aiden's potty training. I found I got him some pull-ups. Now if they had I don't even know if they had an issue with baby things, but I can't take the risk. Um I got my boo-boo some formula, y'all. Y'all know this shit ain't cheap. It's not cheap. I feel like with this whole thing going on, I've spent so much money, y'all. But I'm not complaining. I'm thanking God that we are able. That's all I'm saying. And, and I'm still praying for uh, my Texans because it's still going down. Um, people are still going through it. And my heart goes out to everybody. But yeah, I got her some milk. I don't even know if she needs milk right now. She's still there, still at boyfriend house. Um, but I got milk, um, y'all. These, we didn't even have any of these. Um, I don't care how you feel about them, but it's a good thing to have. And it would have been a great thing to have at the time because I knew at least they could grab this and eat something. So. Y'all know they like four or four dollar. I got baby girl some pampers, a case of diapers. I really want to go to Sam's Club, so I might do that this week and just stock up on her more diapers and get some more milk in this house for her. Cause I can't live like that. Y'all, bread. I'm gonna insert a clip of bread somewhere. Bread. Bread was no bread. Okay. So what they did was they started. I guess this is from the this bakery. The I, got, I, got. I, I was able to get three of these at a dollar ninety nine. At this point, I didn't care how much they cost, but I got three of these. I'm gonna freeze two, leave out one, because I still have that other bread from the other day. Um, I also, they had one loaf of Sara Lee wheat. I'll take her, I got her. People were walking past these loaves like it wasn't bread. Bread is bread. <laughs> they looking for bread like and then pick this up and put it back and, okay, you're lost. Um, Y'all, I got me a piece of carrot cake. That, I think I'm in stress, first of all. I have barely been eating. I cooked last night. I cooked uh, I cooked cube steak. When the last time y'all seen some cube steak? I haven't cooked cube steak since I left Milwaukee. But I, I seared up some cube steak really good, make some brown gravy, put it in the oven, make them some rice and some corn. I made hubby some uh, mashed potatoes and a, uh, in both of us, and a ribeye, but I didn't eat. <laughs> I didn't eat and I know I need to eat, man. But carrot cake is my favorite. So I was in there, I grabbed me one. Y'all, along with the bread, um, I can't do like tortillas, so I went ahead and got 
three tortillas, wheat for me, two for, you know, regular for them. So I'll leave one out and freeze uh, the other pack in case they, in case we can't find bread because they like wraps. So they'll make a, a wrap in a minute. So that's dope. Um, Y'all, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm stress eating. Not that I will, it'll probably take me days to eat this, but I shouldn't have bought it. I shouldn't have bought it. And I'm PM, I'm a little bit of PMS, I'm getting over it, so TMI, but y'all fucking women. I wanted these, and I got me some crab dip until I make my lump crab dip, y'all. I gotta get that full recipe, it's on TikTok. I, I saved the video, so I gotta get it. Um, they didn't have my big oil, so I got another thing of oil. I just bought a big thing of this, a glass, uh, salsa chunky. Why well, baby true break it? Like, now is not the time to be wasting food, but it was a mistake. This, um, catch up, y'all. Lettuce, I got some lettuce. I think I got some in there already um, because I, I feel some salads coming on. Onions, I always buy onions because I use onion in everything. Aiden loves macaroni and cheese, y'all. He done became a picky eater where it came from. I know, so I got Mac for him, y'all. Has anybody ever used these? If you have, let me know. I'm about to drink me a cup of coffee and I'm putting one in there. Espresso, they were like $6 a box. Um, the uh, creamy, it's... Let me know if y'all tried it. I don't feel like it, y'all. I need a shot of espresso in my life. Um, I got some shredded Parmesan cheese for my crab lump crab lump crab dip, whatever. I'm tired. Gravy, y'all. I needed some brown gravy. I, I like to say stocked up on all of that stuff. Y'all, y'all know every time I go to the grocery store, $4.99, I get these. I'm so in love with these. Now, I have them almost one in every room of the house, especially bathrooms. Y'all, use disinfectant wipes, any kind you get, on your light fixtures, on anything, doorknobs, you know, just. It's the way my mind works, y'all. So, they had, they had roast, uh, Angus Chuck Roast. Buy one, get one free. <clears throat> Buy one, get one free. And when I cook in this house, I always make two. So, um, and just a little tip, I don't know how y'all make y'all roast, but. I season it very well. I sear it on the stove, either in oil or butter, depending how I'm feeling that day. Who gonna check me, boo? Um, I sear it on both sides really well. Then I'll take it and throw it in a crock pot with some onions, bell peppers, um, some uh, beef broth, and let it slow cook all day and then make a gravy. <laughs> I don't wanna cook this now, but I'm making a chicken today. Yeah, buy one, get one free. This one was $17.90 and this one was 20 bucks. So I'll take that. I'll put that this week sometime. Y'all, I got these for the baby um, just to have in case I need something quickly for him. Um, 10 of these, they were 10 for a dollar. Bananas, um, I got him, he loves bananas. I got bananas, they are not ready yet, but they will be in a few days. I usually buy them like this because my kids will let them sit over there and get old really quickly, so that's that. I picked up some Kroger butter. Why, y'all? Why, tell me why does the cheap butter taste better than um, country crock? Because I usually buy it. You know, country cock, crock, cock. Nah. <laughs> Get your mom right, Drew. <laughs> I'm sleepy. So, I usually buy country crock, carry gold. Um, I really love, uh, it's the one with the Indian on it, y'all. I'm so tired. I can't remember. Um, I usually buy the one with the Indian on it, too. But I found the Sam's Club butter, the, the, the their brand, and Kroger regular brother, butter. Tired. I love the way it tastes, so that part. I got two things, two things of ground beef, y'all. I got some more lunch meat. I'm freezing lunch meat and leaving some in the refrigerator for them to grab. I said onions and we need sugar. Um, I got two cases of water. They had no water. The only water they had was Dasani. And at this point, I don't give a fuck what's the name on the on the bottles. Because we're using it for everything. Yeah. Um, and I'm boiling water to, you know, all that good fun stuff. But so the sunny water was $4.99 a pack. I got two packs because it was only two packs left. So I bought two of those. So we have live ones. But there was only 24 count, y'all. When hubby came home with some Aquafina last night, two cases, 24 count. So we got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cases of water right now. And I'm telling you, if I have to run out and buy them every day, I will because we're having a problem with water. Um, and I want to say that is everything, y'all. I haven't eaten today yet, so I'm about to find me something to eat real quick. Um, this may, you know, I just wanted to get caught up with you guys. Um, we are doing better in, you know, as far as everything is up and running. Um, yeah. 
that part. Um, and like I said, I'm praying for those in North Carolina. Um, I'm praying for our Texans and whoever else is going through this right now, y'all. I kind of hate picking up the phone and, and even seeing what else is going on wrong. So thank you for hanging with me today. Thank you for all of you guys showing support and um, sending love to us. It is appreciated. It definitely is. So don't think it's not. It does touch my heart. It makes me smile. makes my heart smile. <laughs> my friend used to say that you make my heart smile y'all making my heart smile so thank you make sure to hit that love button for me the like button we call it the love button and i appreciate all my true family members don't ever doubt it i don't take you guys for granted i'm sorry i'm behind on comments but life has had a hold of us lately um so thanks for everything y'all do i can't say it enough and i think that's gonna be it y'all so i'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and get up out of my house and um love peace and hair grease and i'm out of this thing